You see, in English, we use word sounds to, uh, to convey messages. We, we play with words like, uh, God is good. God is good. You, you, you see that word sound, right? I shined my shoes. And in this text, the writer also uses word sounds to convey a very important idea. He uses two words that are different, but they sound the same. The first word, when it says Abraham sent away in Hebrew is shalak. And then when it says Hagar threw her son under the shrub, it is shalak. <laughs> Let me preach for a moment. You see, you have a, a father who because of circumstance, his wife has said, let them go. He has sent them away. He has abandoned them. And then you have a mother because of circumstance, because she doesn't have water, because she cannot provide for her son. She throws him under the shrub. Here the point of the story is this, that these two people, mother and father, they abandoned their son. And that's what happens in life when crisis happens. The people that you thought were supposed to be your day one, the people you thought you could count on, the people you thought could be there for you are not there for you. A son is divested of his father. A son, his mother looks at him and says, you know what, there is nothing I can do for you, son. And she lets him go. My brother, my sister, I want to preach and tell you, God is the only person you can trust. And somebody understand what I'm talking about. You've been abandoned. You've been abandoned. You feel the pain of that person who walked out on you. You've lived your life without a father. You've lived your life without a mother. You thought you had partners who you could work on. They're not there. Somebody understands what I'm talking about. You've been abandoned. And here is a son who's been abandoned by his own mother. You see, in a moment of crisis, not only will resources run out, but people will also run out of your life. Thank you.